Hello everybody, welcome back to Dream Influencer. If you're new, my name is Kayla and I am so happy and grateful to have you all here today. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I had some questions that need some answering. So today's video is going to be me answering those questions that I think will benefit everybody. And I will have the questions time stamped in the description below so you guys if you need to can jump forward see where those questions are at and get your answer so the first question is about soul contracts I made a previous video on this and I will link it below but the question was how can I use the law of attraction if soul contracts exist meaning how can I create my reality if I already made a plan for certain things to happen in my life the answer to this is a soul contract is meant to teach us something, help us understand something, propel us forward, get rid of karmic energy. With that being said, we have free will here on earth. If we want to end a certain contract, we can. We can let go of these contracts. Soul contracts are not going to, to stop us from being able to manifest. That is the beauty of being here on earth, free will. To let go of a soul contract first, you need to acknowledge that the soul contract was made. And you need to acknowledge why it was made. And you need to come to terms with the fact that you agreed to this contract. This way, you can take your power back and realize this isn't happening to you. This is happening because of you. Then you need to say, thank you. Thank you, I have learned this, this, this. Thank you for the lesson, but this is no longer serving me and I am taking my power back. I am ending this energy connection and I am moving forward. You can even visualize yourself getting rid of the contract. You know, rip it up, visualize yourself cutting those energetic cords. Just remember to always come from a place of love and gratitude. Thank you for that lesson. That lesson was so needed for me to learn this and I am so grateful that I learned this lesson. And let go of any negative emotions or negative memories that are connected to this soul contract. And remember, you are in the now. Those feelings and those memories, they're from the past. The past is no longer here. The past is gone. So now that you've ended that contract, it's time to remember where you are and that is now in the present moment and let go of the contract. If you truly want to end it, let go of it and be in the now and experience life now that you have gotten yourself out of that contract. Now for the second question. Why can't I manifest a text? Why is it not working? I'm going to give you a couple reasons as to why you might not be able to manifest that text. When manifesting, you have to come from a good place. The reason behind the manifestation has to be positive. For example, if you are trying to manifest a text from your ex and you're wanting an apology because they did you wrong, you're focusing your energy on the negative, which is lowering your vibrations and it's coming from a negative place. You have to connect to that other person through love. You have to focus on the positive outcome of what's going to happen because of this text. Focus on the positive emotions that you're going to feel and let go of the past. The next reason might be your doubt. We have to let go of doubt and contradicting beliefs. How is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? What if he or she doesn't have my number anymore? What if they blocked me? If you're asking, am I doing it right? If you're saying it's been such and such time and I haven't received it yet, you're focusing on not receiving it. Therefore, you'll continue to not see it. And this last reason is very important. You need to trust the universe. Remember, you are coming from a loving place. You're wanting that text to ex experience a positive outcome, which that other person may not be able to give you. Maybe not at this time, or maybe not ever, but the universe will give you what you're desiring. It just might not be exactly the way you were expecting. So don't have such tunnel vision with this text. 
focus on the positive outcome of what's going to happen because of this text and the universe will deliver. But in some cases, it's not in the way that we think, but I can promise you it will be even better. You just have to be open to the outcome and trust the universe. So that is it for this question and answer video. I hope it helped you guys. And if you want your question answered, then comment down below and I will try to make a video answering your questions. I thought there was a spider on me. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get alerted when I post my videos. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.